All right, everyone, this next technique is against a different type of position put on you, almost like headlock, uh, where the person's got your neck in a in a strangled position. This is called Japanese stranglehold. So instead of you being bent over, this is your up, actually right, somebody sneaking up behind you and bringing their arm around your throat, cutting off your air, squeezing you, causing you need to panic, maybe even pass out. This one is gonna be fun to do. Check it out. All right, guys, here we go. Japanese strangle. This is how this is done. Again, someone is sneaking up behind you. They've got their arm around you. There's a difference, there's a difference between, can I use you for a second, Eric? There's a difference between a chokehold. Chokehold's this, hands are around them, strangle hold the whole arm comes around you and that could be also in a headlock position too okay so what we're going to do is we're going to teach you somebody sneaking up behind you there at your six o'clock okay you're facing 12 the clock stops immediately until the entire technique is complete clock freezes there at six o'clock their right arm is going around your neck now you only have seconds maybe a maybe a second or two maybe three if you're lucky before they crank that arm so tight, you might pass out. So you gotta be careful. As soon as you see that, that, that arm coming across, you're, you're supposed to be doing something. You're supposed to be tucking your chin. So Merrick, he's done this for so, for so long, it starts to become second nature. As soon as the arm goes around, look what he does. He tucks his chin. If he didn't tuck his chin and he's looking forward, don't tuck your chin, look forward, okay? It gives me the ability to crank uh, my arm against his against his throat and the bad part about it if you do the technique right as a grappler you use that bone and you push it right up against the esophagus and the trachea and you squeeze in there and it cuts off that area instantly and it actually could do even more damage by, by breaking the trachea be very careful that's why you need to tuck that chin in it very important okay so first thing we do we're gonna see the arm come around if it comes to the right we go to the right chin goes down. They're still at six o'clock. Their right arm is telling you which way to step in this technique. You're going to go out to three o'clock into a horse stance. Simultaneously, you drive that left elbow straight into their midsection. Probably going to, uh, going to go straight into their solar plexus. So let's do that part again. Going to neutral, you're going to step, tuck your chin, step out, drive the elbow. This hand comes up. Why is that important? Just like in some of our techniques. If, if you're striking low, their body comes forward. You don't want their head to, collect, to collide with your head, okay? From that position, drop your, drop your fist straight down low to six o'clock into their groin, okay? So it's mid-strike, groin strike. They're gonna drop lower. Their head should be right by your shoulder at this time. You wanna get them off you. Their arm is still around you. You wanna raise that elbow up underneath their chin, straight up same time you're going to grab their arm it's probably going to be a lot looser now okay you're going to open the gate and you're going to walk out and clear hoping to get distance between you and you and your body okay one more time ready somebody's right behind you right hand going across step back and then step out to three o'clock elbow protect your side hammer fist to the groin raise the elbow straight up underneath their chin that raises their body up Open the gate, that's their arm, and walk out. Come here. Okay? I'm going to grab Merrick. This is how it's going to look. We're going to show you from two angles. Okay? Watch what he does. As soon as his hand comes across, look at that. Tugs it. Now, even if I squeeze, it's going to hurt. It's going to squeeze, but it's not going to cut off his air. Not as quickly. Okay? So, right arm's grabbing. He tugs to the right. He steps over to a horse stance, dropping my body, driving his elbow straight back to my, to my uh, solar plexus. Look what happens to my head. Hold on a second, Eric. When he drives here, my body comes forward. This hand's for protection. Drives the, drives the hammer fist to the groin and comes straight up. Opens the gate and clears. Walks away. One more time from this side. Uh, yeah, let's go this side, okay? So you can see how his elbow and hammer fist is, is working. So here I come, I'm coming here. He's tucking, go. One, two, three, opens the gate. Okay, real time. Ready? We're not going to instruct, he's just going to do it. Just like that, it goes straight up. I have to protect myself. On real time, there's a good chance you can you can hurt hurt your hurt your buddy accidentally. Anyway, that is Japanese strangle hole. I hope you have fun with this.
thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you're seeing here on our Tonga Lo YouTube station, do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, as well as it's very important that you like all the videos that you think is worth liking. Give us a thumbs up because that's the only way that YouTube is going to know to send it out to others that have similar interests, not just for our channel by itself. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click on the subscribe button on the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions about our programs, please go to tongyellow.com and click on Contact Us.